Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Marauders. Um, the game is not well optimized right now and I hope they're going to add more uh, settings inside of the game. Uh, it's still in early access, so we're going to look at what are the best parameters for Windows for this game. And after that, we're going to take a look on the uh, in-game parameter. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a, a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have a, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for example, here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months um, for from AMD it's called super resolution and for Nvidia it's NIS I have dedicated video to who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it but to explain you quickly what it's about uh, so you need to enable this so for example I'm playing uh, in 2k because my monitor in, is in 2k I'm going inside of my game I lower the resolution at 1080p and the software will scale it back at 2k and with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is, sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimizes your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2% to 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, we're going to go to option. First of all, make sure that you're playing full screen. And if you don't have the proper resolution over there, you can unlock it by moving to window mode and 
select the proper resolution and just go back to full screen. I still recommend to go with full screen, borderless. I had like some random stuttering when I was playing my rotor. So super important to go with full screen. For the resolution scale, I recommend to go with normal. This one equal to 100%, so 141. You don't want to lower that. Uh, you, will, uh, you, you will see that your image quality will be trash. For frame rate limitation, I just use the maximum at 144 fps i have a 170 hertz screen so i can't max out my fps for my monitor but still i recommend to just max it if you're at for an example if you're playing on a laptop you're struggling with your thermal and you have a 60 hertz screen i recommend to lock your fps at 60 it will help with stuttering for vertical synchronization the v-sync i recommend to go with off you don't want to add any input lag in your game and if you have free sync or g-sync technology you're good if you don't have that and you have a lot of tiering when you're playing this game you can definitely put the v-sync at on but like i said you will add a little bit of input lag for a motion blur you don't want to use that and you don't want to use this in any game so super important to go with off texture quality i recommend to go high if you have more than four gig of vram 3 gig of VRAM medium and less than 3 gig go with low. For the shadow quality, this one is the parameter that will provide you the uh, bigger, the best boost in your FPS. If I compare high to low, you can expect a nice 18% boost in your FPS. A weird thing is in the menu when you go with high, it's it seems like you will your visual will be better and you will have a better lining. But I didn't see that when I was playing the game. So I still recommend to go with low. Visual effect go with low. You will have a nice 4% boost in your FPS. Anti-aliasing I recommend to go with medium. Normally in any game I don't like anti-aliasing. Uh, it adds a lot of like blurriness. And in this game like eye is crazy. Everything is blurry. But the thing is at low the game looks very bad and everything is moving. So that's why I recommend to go with medium. Uh, it seems to be a good spot right now for the visual qual quality in this game. For foliage, I recommend to go with low. Not a huge improvement. If you compare high to low, uh, it's like 4% boost. And post-process quality, this one, high to low, you can expect a nice 7% boost. And also, your uh, visual clarity will be a lot better at low. This is an early access game right now. Uh, they, they said that they're going to add more uh, setting inside of the game like an FOV slider. I hope we're going to have more than this because right now it's a bit uh, a pain <laughs> to optimize this game. It's still running kind of well on my PC, uh, on my main PC, but on my laptop. It doesn't run well. So I, on my laptop, I'm running like an old i7s. I think it's a 7700 with a 1050 uh, mobile uh, GPU. So not that great. So I hope they're going to optimize it. If you have any question about this game, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.